Welcome to the second and final installment in our two-part series on communication between AV professionals and IT professionals. Let's explore some terms that might be misinterpreted between AV pros and IT pros. First, if you mention AV to an IT pro without providing any other context, there's a good chance that they may assume you are referring to antivirus technology. Although there is a crisp definition of what a computer virus is, most people, including IT folks, use the term virus to pretty much mean any software that has a malicious intent. In a similar fashion, some IT folks might consider references to AV to mean any technologies that are designed to prevent the bad guys from doing their thing. However, most IT pros will figure things out when the topic immediately shifts to discussing amplifiers, speakers, or microphones. Sometimes, though, other terms aren't quite so simple. For example, audio over IP. That's a phrase I have heard quite often from AV pros. To an IT person, this paints a very precise picture and involves some assumptions that the AV pro may not intend. To an AV pro, audio or video over IP usually means digital audio or video that is transported over some type of network. It could be any type of network. To an IT pro, however, that same term implies that digital audio or video is specifically being transmitted via the TCP IP protocol suite, which may or may not be the case. Or worse, the IT pro may make other assumptions regarding specific applications and technologies, such as codecs, that may also be in use. Many AV technologies, including AVB, do not involve TCP IP at all. In fact, technically, AVB would be audio over Ethernet. To an IT pro, that's very different than audio over IP. Another area rife for confusion is the topic of VLANs and subnets. To an IT pro, those terms refer to completely different technologies that may or may not be related. AV folks might use VLANs or subnets as interchangeable terms. However, VLANs are actually different and they are a lower level in the networking stack than subnets are. And although they can be used together, the two technologies are not dependent upon each other. Another example. If you tell an IT pro, I have programmed the DSP, they might ask you, oh, what language did you use? Was it assembly language or C? Or perhaps they might respond with, how many lines of code did it take? IT pros will likely assume that you mean the process of software engineering when an AV pro refers to programming. The phrase programming a DSP as used by an AV person would more likely be described as configuring the system by an IT pro. It is also important to recognize that most IT pros have dramatically different business pressures and operational constraints as compared to AV folks. For example, never assume that it is simple or even easy for an IT pro to, quote, just get another IP address, or even just connect this device to the network. IT infrastructure and networks are usually extremely important to any enterprise, and there are usually very precise rules and workflows involved with commissioning any new equipment. Also, IT pros often have very specialized jobs, and AV folks may need to interact with a whole team of IT people just to get a new device installed onto a customer's network. Always ask if there are others who should be involved for any given project. And finally, remember that IT folks are likely to have a different understanding regarding some of the technical specs and operational requirements of networked equipment. Never assume that IT folks have a deep knowledge of AV system requirements or the technologies that are involved. Asking questions to ensure you understand their perspective is a great way to build trust with IT folks. Remember, the IT world is moving away from the older model where everyone was a generalist and towards a new model where there are teams of IT specialists that are constantly collaborating to get things done. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, never be afraid to say, I don't know. The quickest way to lose trust is to try to make something up. Most people involved with technology enjoy talking shop and nothing breaks the ice like having the courage to ask someone to share their expertise. Oh, and don't forget that AV folks have a lot to share as well. Sharing expertise in both directions will become even more important as this technological evolution continues to converge the AV and the IT landscapes. There's a lot more involved in learning how to talk to an IT pro than we can possibly cover in a short video series. In fact, we've created an entire class around this very topic. The class includes thorough details about many of the IT technologies that AV folks may need to understand, including things like VLANs, TCP IP, and network architecture. Even better, this class is an Avixa masterclass, so you can earn certification RUs. For any IT pros that might be watching, RU in this case refers to renewal units, not rack units. These RUs are continuing education credits that AV pros can use to maintain certain industry certifications. See? IT pros can learn things from AV pros as well. 
Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insights, tutorials, and answers to frequently asked questions.